During today's video, we will learn how to create domains in a space plane and how to use them further in thermal desktop. For this case, we have the solid of the shell of a tank and we will need to create some domains here to use them in thermal desktop for several applications. We can see that this tank is formed by inner surfaces and outer surfaces. We can create domains for solids, for entire solids, and we can already uh, attach to them a certain material condition, for example. We can see here that the entire solid is being selected inside the structure tab. We go then to the tab of thermal and there we click on the thermal bottom and a solid thermal editor will appear. We can set a submodel here to this entire solid and we can already specify the material, which in this case is aluminium. We will create then a domain. We click on the domain tab We click on Add and we select a name for it. In this case, we will call it Liquid Wall. Then we can create also the domain for the surfaces, but we can see already that the new domain is inside the Tag menu, Domain, and we can see it appears there. Now we will select the surfaces, the exterior surfaces of this tank and we will create an entire domain for it. We go again to the thermal button, or we can right click on the surfaces and select thermal in the menu. We will add a domain for it, and we will leave the rest of the settings just for, from default. We're gonna call it liquid wall out, We will save this and we will perform the same for the interior walls. To be able to see these walls, we can hide the exterior surfaces. We right click, face, hide face, and now we are just seeing the interior of the tank, the interior of the wall of the tank. We right click, we click on thermal, and we create a new domain liquid wall in. We can see how the domains inside the tag menu are updated. We'll visualize again all the phases. And now we will go to Thermal Desktop, where the entire volume will be imported. We open Thermal Desktop, Thermal tab, Import. And we select the path where the file is being stored. We unselect the CAD geometry part and we generate the finite element mesh. Synchronize. And after a couple of seconds, we will be able to see the mesh of the shell of the tank. Once the mesh has finished, we can see the imported tank. We can change the visualization options. And inside the model browser, we can easily reach the domains we created.
here we have the surfaces and also the solid domain.